And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northeast. There's Galbraith School in the distance there. 28 degrees is what we're at right now, and that is our daytime high. We got down to 12 degrees at 6 a.m. We just have some high cloud out there, but look at the humidity value, 51%. That puts our Humidex at 32. So, yeah, it feels a little sticky out there, but as I was saying to Jackie, not as sticky as Winnipeg. 32 degrees feeling like 42 with the humidity factor. Of course, you folks in Medicine Hat at 33 feeling and quite toasty over there, I'm thinking, and all over southern Alberta. Numbers are very, very warm. Here's the reason. Satellite loop is showing we don't have anything except some very high, thin cloud that really isn't showing up uh, in southern Alberta. We do have some cloud along the foothills. We talked about this yesterday, that the for today, the biggest chance of seeing some thunder shower activity are areas in the mountains, areas closer to the foothills. Could be seeing some of that activity, and Forecaster is indicating that, pushing off some uh, late in the day tomorrow uh, as far as thunder, thunderstorm activity goes to the north of us. But here in the south, looking uh, fairly quiet, we have some pockets. Now, the forecaster does want to put some pockets of precipitation moving across tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking more Friday into Saturday. That's where we have the highest probability of seeing some shower activity. And even then, it's only 30% on Friday and 40% on Saturday. The bulk of both of those days still looking like a sun and cloud mix. So this could be a little, a little exaggerated, but certainly in the higher elevations, that's where the chance of seeing some thunder shower, shower activity is greater. Down east looking very nice, 20 degrees in St. John's. They've cooled down from 23 degrees, but beautiful sun and cloud mix there. We've got sunshine through the Maritimes as well. Uh, severe thunderstorm watches are already being positioned for southern Quebec and into northern Ontario because of a cold front that's looping through the area. And there you've got hot, hot Winnipeg, 33 degrees is what they're at, at now. They've jumped a degree. 21 degrees in Regina, 30 degrees in Saskatoon. We've got thunderstorm watches and warnings out for most of Manitoba and southern half of Saskatchewan right now. Sun and cloud on the BC coast, sun and cloud in Whitehorse, 15 degrees there. 23 in Yellowknife, sun and cloud mixed there as well, and that's going to continue for the next few days. Pretty nice temperatures there and sun and cloud mix. For East Kootenai, you're looking at 16 for a low, 32 for a high tomorrow. Chance of a thunderstorm tonight, chance of a late-day thunderstorm again tomorrow after a sun and cloud mix for the bulk of the day. Crow's Nest Pass, 13 degrees tonight with a chance of a thunder shower, but tomorrow looks like like more of a possibility of that happening late in the day, 29 degrees after a day of sun and cloud. For Medicine Hat, clear tonight, 16 for a low. Sunny tomorrow, 32 degrees for a daytime high. So hot again in the southeast corner of the province. It'll be hot for us as well. We're looking at a high of 32 tomorrow under mainly sunny skies. But having said that, don't rule out the chance of a late day thunder shower. There's your five day forecast. The, uh, the heat continues even into those two days where I said 30% chance of precipitation on Friday. 40% chance on Saturday. Sun and cloud mix for the bulk of the day, but still very above average temperatures. Average is 25 degrees for this time of year. And then we've got the warmth continuing for the next couple of days. So uh, the trend of above average temperatures and lots of sunshine is going to carry on. Now, a lot of people suffer from digestive problems and you want to check with your doctor first before adding anything to your diet. By, by taking probiotics, it can be a simple solution to easing digestive issues. So have a conversation. They're available at Health food stores all over. And that's our Live Better tip for this week. Have a good evening.